The Scorpion News is a public forum for student expression. Students make all content decisions, and opinions do not necessarily represent those of the HUSD. Scorpions, I'm your host Emily Tess back with your weekly episode of Scorpion News. Let's get right into it. It's finally homecoming week. I hope you're all dressed in your best sports outfits for Olympic Day. Don't forget tomorrow is also whiteout day so wear as much white as you can so we can blind the other side with our bright outfits during the homecoming game. The game is tomorrow at 7 so come out and cheer on our boys as they go against Chino Hills. You want to know what else is tomorrow? The pep rally! It starts during the last 30 minutes of lunch so after you're done eating head on over to the gym for a great time. The homecoming dance is this Saturday, the 22nd, from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Tickets are still on sale in the student store for $25 with an ASV card and $35 without. I hope to see you all there. And for the people out there having a little trouble asking their special someone to the dance, let's take a look at how Ashley got her date in hopes that it'll somehow inspire you. Alright guys, today we're going to be taking notes on Ethos Pathos logos. Um, so the goal of Ethos Pathos logos is... Ethos, pathos, logos. Girl, just ask her a homecoming. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Don't forget that homecoming is this Saturday, so make sure to go out and buy your tickets. Mr. Bernal's having me go film some stuff for like, broadcasting and stuff. Yeah, figures. Me too. Maybe we can film a cheesy 80s skit. And if we happen to have time for a dance, that'd be cool too. Sounds good. Pick me up at 7.30. Wow, who knew Aristotle could be so inspiring? Oh wait, everyone. Now go out and get your ticket and your date. Listen up juniors and freshmen, the PSAT sign-ups are this week in the student store. The cost is only $16 and juniors can get a fee waiver application in the CCRC, so sign up as soon as possible. And now for some senior announcements. Financial Aid Night is next Tuesday, September 25th at 6 p.m. The English presentation will be in the cafeteria and the Spanish one is in the library. Bring your whole family and have some pizza while you learn more about this opportunity. Voting for your senior favorites are still going on until next Monday, so make sure to cast your nominations if you haven't already. Senior quotes are also available now if you purchase a yearbook by November 1st. They're only $70 with an ASV card and $80 without until November 16th, so get them at their lowest prices while you still can. Yearbooks are a wonderful way for looking back on old high school photos. Speaking of old photos, Mrs. Martinez's digital design students have been working to restore old pictures using Photoshop. Federico and Anthony got the scoop on this project, so let's check it out. Mrs. Martinez's digital design students are working on a project centered around the theme of making a difference in someone's life. The photo restoration project, um, I got the students involved because I want them to be part of something. So this photo that we restored is 101 years old and it belongs to Miss Stevens. This is her grandparents. So we restored it and um, we just want the kids to be part of just making a difference. They're achieving this through the restoration and damaged photos using Photoshop editing techniques. Through Photoshop, they've been able to re remove visible damage such as dirt, scratches, and other aging effects. Last year, Mrs. Stevens' father shared a picture of her grandparents' wedding, so she thought she'd ask Mrs. Martinez to see what she could do with it. Because of the watermark that was in the picture, I knew that uh, Mrs. Martinez's class could do the Photoshop to take it out, so I had taken it down to her and asked her if she could do that. And she said, let me make it a class project. Are you happy with the results? I'm more than happy with the results. Not only that, she made great big um, 
11 by 14 pictures and I sent one to each of my sisters for a Christmas present and they were absolutely thrilled to have that picture in their home. Do students feel a sense of accomplishment knowing that they have made a difference in someone's life? For Scorpion News, this is Melanie Federico and Anthony signing off. If you ever wondered how people got old photos to look brand new, well now you know. You learn something new every day. And now in sports news, we've got a ton of our teams playing games today. First where we want to wish good luck to is the JV football team as they play against Chino Hills today. Bring home that dub for us guys. Also good luck to our tennis girls as they play their very first league match against Sultana here at Hesperia High School at 315, so come out and support the team. Last but not least, let's wish our, let's wish our volleyball girls good luck as they take on Burroughs today. I know you guys will kill it out there. See what I did there? Anyway, for any girls interested in soccer tryouts, our October 1st through the 4th on the varsity soccer field from 3 to 5 p.m. See Coach Eric if you have any questions. I got you all. If you don't know what the circle game is, basically, if you convince someone to look at your hand doing the OK symbol somewhere below the waist, then you get the privilege of punching them. So here's a little sneak peek on the movie they're making about the game. Yo, what's bro, up, boys? How's it going? I, don't, I just moved back, man. Everything's been going good so far. Uh, so, yeah, how you been, bro? I've been chilling, you know. I'm trying to spit some beats over here. Just, uh, you know, I've been on a night lately, yeah. too. So, yeah. so, yeah, you know. Okay, what are you doing with your hands, bro? I, 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 I'm not gonna fall for it. Hey, no, for real, though. You, know, you wanna take a seat, bro? No, that's cool. I got a seat right here. Okay. Yo, I like your style, though. It's kind of like mine. Oh. <sighs> yeah, man, I see we have Adidas gang. You know, look at my shoelaces, though. Ooh, almost had me. I can't do it anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's getting to me. He's gone. He's gone. I can't. I can't. Oh, now. now. Oh, no. Is it too late? Oh, Bloopers. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait for the film to come out on December 34th. And now I get to punch everyone watching this, so watch out. Well, that's all for today's episode of Scorpion News. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Scorpion News and rewatch any of our broadcasts over on YouTube. I'm your host, Emily Tess, signing off. <laughs> Yay! <What>? Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 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 <laughs>